Hey world, let's do this. Hello, Talofa, and young SAO. Yeah, as I said in a previous video, a couple previous videos, um, I'm going to be reviewing Korean movies and TV shows, and I've already got one planned for this one. Obviously, you'd know by the thumbnail and the title of the video what this one's about, which is the Ghost Doctor or Ghost Doctor. So, what I've decided is I, instead of just rambling, I'm going to write a script. Kind of, um, you know, a script slash points <laughs> for me to follow. So at times I might be reading what I've written just so I don't forget anything. I didn't want to ramble on and forget major things I really wanted to say about a show. So this is my first time of doing anything like this with a script, hence why I got glasses on. <laughs> I need to read. So let's get into it, eh? So this one is on Netflix. It's not a Netflix show, um, but it is on Netflix. It is called Ghost Doctor. It does not have an English dub. So this is one that you are gonna have to read the subtitles for. And there are a couple parts that can get a little quick, but overall it's good. Like I said, I'm a slow reader. So this one I was able to follow good enough. Okay, so what about the show? First up, it's 16 episodes, but the good thing is it's self-contained. So this is not a TV series. This is a mini series that is well-contained and the, the story is complete. It's just an awesome, it's one of my favorite Korean shows out of all of them. I'm not gonna do spoilers. If you want spoilers, we can talk about that later. Leave it in the comments if you want to know. Anything I tell you is going to be just general knowledge about the show. For example, the Netflix description. That's what I'm going to start with, which kind of sums up the show pretty well, which is the ghost of an arrogant surgeon with a golden touch possesses the body of a first year resident, making him the most sought after physician overnight. So that's the, the Netflix description. So as you can tell, there's a surgeon that becomes a ghost. You know, he possesses the body of a first year resident, which is pretty vague compared to what the actual story is. Let's break down this show so you know a little bit more about it without giving away the story. Well, what is this show? The best way to quickly describe Ghost Doctor is probably as an odd couple style medical drama comedy. That is the best way to describe this show. Like, if you want a Western comparison, the only way I could explain this is, this is what you get if you take House, ER, Grey's Anatomy, and then mash it up with The Ghost Whisperer, The Frighteners, Heaven Can Wait, Ghost, Colombo even, and Ally McBeal, and then blend it all up really well. That's just some shows just real quickly. It, like, it's... You can't, there's not a one-on-one -on -one comparison for this show. It's just, that's what, what I love about the Korean entertainment. They've, they've come up with some, some really interesting original ideas and the way they're doing it. But as you can guess, with all those different shows, it's not easy to give a direct comparison to anything, really. <laughs> that was just shows that I could think of that this, that Ghost Doctor has elements of. Yes, there are serious medical drama moments which include doctors dealing with patients, administration, things going on behind the scenes of the hospital and that. There is a problem solving of mystery medical diagnosis issues, along with some dark humor that is reminiscent of the show House. And of course, when you're introduced to one of the lead characters, he is an arrogant, blunt, self-absorbed, and very unlikable version of House, basically, <laughs> himself. Then you have the comedy sprinkled throughout the show, with everything from smart witty jokes, observational and self-deprecating humor, right up to the basic slapstick and situational gags, placing the straight played characters into odd and funny situations. So there's different types of comedy throughout it. Some's really out there and others is very subtle, but this show will have you laughing. Obviously by the title, the basic description of the show, one of the leads is a G-H-O-S-T, which is a sort of thing in the show. <laughs> well, that's why I spelt it. 
So there are supernatural elements, but this leads to characters dealing with not only comedic situations, but having to deal with issues of loss, regret, frustrations, helplessness, limitations, etc. It allows the show to cover and ask questions of these issues from a different perspective, rather than just being restricted by the normal people that we would have in a standard real world type medical show. And as most shows have, but Koreans love to do this as well, there's also a major love story that runs throughout the show that's accompanied by a lesser subplot love story, as well as threads that hint at possible love connections, but they're more for a comedic tone. And then to top it off, there's a murder mystery type plot throughout the show, just to add another genre to the mix. At first it's a mystery, but early on in the show it's revealed who did what, and then the rest of the plot is like Columbo, where the good guys know who, but how can they bring justice to the situation? That sort of thing. Was that vague enough? <laughs> Not to spoil anything. The character journeys through this show are natural and organic, which, is, which I'm finding in almost every Korean show. Every major character has flaws and challenges to overcome, and how they deal with those obstacles is clearly portrayed and shown how it affects their development through their story arc. How do you put it? It's not a good guy, bad guy show. There are characters that you just don't like at first. One of the main characters is one of these people. But the exploration of their backstory generates an understanding and even an empathy for them. And as you see how some face the challenges along with dealing with their issues and allowing them to grow, you slowly begin to start cheering for them. Most of the characters aren't black and white. Okay, so I've written this part a bit um, clinical. So I'm just gonna read it straight out because it's the best description of the show, in my opinion, what my final analysis would be. So I would describe it as, Ghost Doctor is an awesome show with great production, solid and tight original writing, performed by talented actors who will have you laughing your butt off out loud right after crying because the previous scene had you feeling like your heart was broken from the pain that the character was dealing with. And it's kind of like that. You know, there's a scene in there which is so heart-wrenching, but so making you laugh. And so within this scene, you're feeling the pain here, but then you're laughing here and it jumps back to this one and jumps back to that one. And it's this, um, this emotional roller coaster ride. Like I said, so many Korean shows are this good, but this is what this show particularly does well. I can't really say much more about Ghost Doctor without venturing into the spoiler territory. That That's just pretty much it. Uh, if I start talking about other things, I'd have to spoil some aspects of it. It's like that with most of the Korean shows, so some of these reviews are gonna be a bit vague. Yeah, uh, unfortunately that's the way it is, but if you want spoiler versions, if you want like a spoiler review, where I can deep dive into the plot and give my thoughts about what I liked and what I didn't like, and talk about my theories I have about the show, etc., etc. let me know in the comments. And yeah, I, I'm, I could talk about this show all day, and if you want a spoiler review type thing where I get into the story and, and all that sort of stuff, let me know and I'll do that one. While I'm talking about the comments, hit like, subscribe, and of course the notification bell to help out the channel. Yes, I even wrote that in the script because I've been forgetting to say that a lot. <laughs> I have a long list already of shows that I'm going to review. But if you have a suggestion, for a K-drama that I should check out, add to the list, and then review, let me know down below. That was about Ghost Doctor. I highly recommend you check it out. Anywho guys, I'm Shay, this is K-Drama Review, and I'm not dead yet. <laughs>